really cool. I was over at my buddy's shop when we were putting this glass in the 65, and I never had a chance to YouTube this. Um, I just showed you guys another little technique I have, but my uh, spring clamps are in the back shop. Uh, they're, they're on a car cover, so I can't use those right now, so I'm just using a piece of tape to hold it in place. Spring clamp works a little nicer um, to hold it down, especially when there's a little bit of lubricant in the groove, which I don't like to use too much of that. Uh, so, but I got this really crappy uh, lubricant from uh, the dollar store, and the reason why I like this is because it dries out. So, <laughs> if it dries out, then the moldings want to stay. So that's a cool thing if you can find that product. I don't know if it was just a one-time only thing. Now, the thing that I found that he sh was showed me kind of is that if you look, you see how these fit like shit, okay? Um, what you want to do is you want to carefully, and these things will tweak so easily carefully bend these to the exact way the groove is so line it up you know say start right here bend the molding so that it fits exactly where this thing's supposed to go it makes a huge difference in installing it uh, i'm going to show you guys a little more on this with from a different angle all right so I got it pretty much as close as I can get it. The closer you get it, the better. Um, so if you look here, it sets right on top of the groove. Um, even how this is a little teeter-tottery, if you can get that even better, that helps. Anything that helps, because once this is on there and in place, it... It, it won't fight you by starting to come apart and stuff like that as much. Um, and the other trick is, is that um, if you do use a lubricant, um, you can counteract that after you've got it in place. I do the same thing with my uh, hood, mold, hood rubber. Um, after I put it in, I'll use, say, a super degreaser like this stuff here, this awesome lemon. This is one of the best degreasers or simple green or something like that to counteract that lubricant you use to put it in place. To just, when you get it wet with that stuff, sometimes it'll actually, you know, take the lubricating properties out of that um, by degreasing it. So that's another little trick. Um, I use so I'm gonna try and get this thing on here and I'll show you a little more as we go so I'm gonna give you guys a real life time of how this kind of goes so I'll do a little bit back in my day we took all this stuff off and put in black ones that was a cool thing now I'm making it all back again it's just weird but uh, I throw a little lubricant in there pry it open so it fits, starts to go into the groove, and I push it in. So as I get the loop, as I get to the point where I need to lube it again, I just keep going until it until it uh, doesn't want to go in. It'd be nicer if I had a table, but I don't have one right now available. So just kind of work it like this. The trick is, is make it, making sure it doesn't come off the window. That's why you don't want to just squirt lube everywhere. If you squirt lube everywhere, it's just a pain. So you got to just try and use as little as possible about to that point. You know, I need to use a little more lube here. I just put a very little bit right where I need it. And I just work it around. Just pry it open a little bit, and shove it in the groove a little bit, and then push it in. Pry it open a little bit, push it in. Of 
corners are a little tougher. But I'm trying it now with just doing the keepers as I go. And I think it's going to work a little bit easier. I watched my buddy Chris do this and he just smoked it. I was just like, wow, make me sick. And he showed me the trick about bending it to the right thing and man, now I get it. It makes total sense. I put in the hundreds of these things with no, no, no chrome. But this chrome thing is definitely harder. But in this car, uh, there's no way I'd put it together without it. It's got to have chrome. And I hope it'll make my turn right because it doesn't look like it wants to turn this corner. Time for a little more to do. Just a very little bit. Just enough just to get it so it will slide in place. You can just barely open it. You kind of squeeze it. That kind of opens it up. And you just shove it in. I always thought it was really weird that this stuff didn't look like it was all the right shape. I thought, man, that's not going to be a problem. And sure enough, it is. So, yeah, we'll make it around this corner, no problem. Notice it's not popping out anywhere in place now it might want to pop out because remember I had that hump and if you get it really really perfect you're gonna save yourself a lot more time and the other thing is is when it gets in place um, that, it, that it doesn't look weird I've had I've seen it where the windows don't look like they fit um, which is common in the back window okay I mean how many windows I put in, the back window didn't fit right when I didn't have chrome on them. So they, that's kind of normal if it doesn't fit good in the back window. But the one of the ways to cure some of that is to definitely do what I'm doing right now and to bend it in shape. So you guys can get the idea. I can get around here pretty quick. Uh, I don't think I need to show you the whole thing, but uh, a lot faster than some of the other ways that I've watched other guys do it you know, in videos online. And some of you guys are a long ways away, maybe you're in Europe or Netherlands or something. I mean, who knows? I've seen guys, video people watch my videos from all over the place. So I was like, wow, mostly United States, but. Maybe you're someplace that there's no gurus around. That's cool. We got YouTube. We can all learn from each other and teach the young people how to do this stuff. Some of the stuff. So let's, you see how it's getting around these corners so nice. If you've tried this before, you would be popping out everywhere. Um, and I don't even have my fancy dancy clamp. He thought that was kind of weird. He goes, oh, well, that's actually, he liked the idea, but he's kind of like, oh, I don't need it. It's because he's straightening them out before he puts them on. I'm like, man, geez, I wish I would have thought of that. Oh, I just didn't. I thought they just were made that way to go in place or something. I think they just didn't make them right. So that's pretty much Volkswagen parts all. Didn't make them right, that sounds, sounds about right. Okay, guys, I'll let you guys, uh, so you can see what I'm doing. It should, shouldn't be any more time much at all, and I'll be done with this. So uh, you can see how quick, I mean, it doesn't go that quick, but... 
a lot quicker than maybe what some of you guys have been trying and thought I might share that with you.